Hello guys, how are you doing? So today we are going to be working with another method for approximate analysis uh, of buildings on the lateral load and this is the method of the cantilever. Cantilever method uh, dates back to 1908 from AC Wilson was the, the person that devised this method and it's deeply rooted in mechanics of materials so if you if you remember mechanics of materials and you have any cantilever beam like this subject to this type of load of course it's going to try to bend in this direction it's going to bend in something like that and while, while this uh, beam is bending in that direction you're going to have some stress over the wall let's say in this part that is going to come in this other direction so this is going to be the stress and this is going to be the stress when you do the analysis of how much is the top stress here how much is the bottom stress here and that stress is going to be linearly dependent on the centroid of the cross-sectional area so basically that's the same thing but instead of now having a cantilever beam like that we're going to have a building a tall building it doesn't have to be necessarily tall building but it works better with the slender columns and tall buildings subject to this type of load lateral loads if we have that situation what is going to happen is once again if you consider this as a cantilever bending in this direction like that then in that direction it has to be held somehow in this way for that not to happen and you can calculate the centroid depending on the distances and depending on the on the area of the columns you can calculate that centroid and create kind of a stress diagram where this part is going to be let's say in tension and this part is going to be in compression where the columns and that's basically the same behavior as you have in this part every one of the values here at every one of the columns is going to be determined by how far apart are from that centroid that centroid and that centroid is going to be determined in the according of the areas of the column areas not for of columns columns areas of columns and the distances also and the distances so the first step will be find the centroid and remember even if we have the centroid this is going to be statically that that's going to give us one condition that we need that would be the equivalent in the portal method of saying oh if we're going to do this by the portal method the same building by the portal method it was like this that would be the that condition that we're getting here will be the equivalent condition when we say oh if we make this thing here and we make a cut this is going to be V, but this is going to be 2V, 2V, and V. The interior columns absorb double of the shear. Our extra condition here is obtained in the axial load of the columns, not in the shear load of the columns. So we have the axial and we will determine the shear. But on top of that, remember we also need to include the hinges, wherever the hinges should be included in order to make that structure statically determinate and that's what we have to do and that's the way of the cantilever method uh, works so first it's used for tall buildings mainly or produce better result for tall buildings with the slender columns we have to place hinges in such a way that the structure is statically determined that we convert it in a statically determined structure and then the axial stress for the columns is determined according its 
distance or their distances their distances with respect to the centroid the centroid of the columns the overall centroid of the columns that's 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 basically the method and then once we do that we start and we cut it in, pl in pieces like we did the rest and we start moving and moving and moving and moving and finding all our uh, unknowns. So I'm going to do a problem that hopefully is going to illustrate this method and it's going to help you. I'm going to do the same problem that I did with the method of the portal. Now I'm going to uh, work it out using the method of cantilever. Watch it. <laughs> 